Hi everyone, Elena Wilson from Eximate Mastery here. And I know it's been a while since I've done a Tuesday tech tip for you guys. We kind of took the summer off and some fun things, but now we're back in the saddle and I'm ready to go. So today what I'm gonna be talking about is your unit. Um, section of an estimate. So there are different columns when you're writing your estimate, different areas of the quick entry screen in Xactimate. And I think the unit area is somewhere where some people get tripped up and you might be shorting your estimate if you don't know to look at the unit column to make sure the unit is correct. So let me show you how all this is going to shake out. Let's take a look at your unit area of the estimating process in Xactimate. So I'm already in an estimate, I'm in X1. So if you're using version 28, X1 is just a pretty skin that they put over 28. If I collapse this ribbon over here, everything else will look the same, whether you're in X1 or 28, you'll be able to see this. So the unit column is right here. So you can see on my screen, I've got the unit section. Also, if I select a line item, I can see the unit section right here next to the pricing and I can drop that down and see that there are other units. Now, you don't ever really wanna change a unit here, but you wanna be aware of what unit of measure is being used. I recently was speaking with someone and they were unaware that the ice and water shield was a square foot line item. I think they were under the impression that it was a linear foot line item. So they were only entering the quantity for the eaves uh, because they just simply didn't know. And exact, I mean, it doesn't really tell you, hey, this is, you know, be sure to, put the total square foot here, they don't tell you that. So you have to discover it upon yourself to find out what unit of measure should be uh, being used. And then of course you don't know what you don't know. So you end up shorting yourself uh, down the road because you know it's just, you just simply don't know to look at that unit section. So we would need to go ahead and take the length of those eaves and multiply it by the number three, which is the course, the, the width of a course of an ice and water shield. And that would be um, drastically different than just adding 115 uh, to the estimate. And we would have shorted ourselves quite a bit. The other thing that I used to do when I would write estimates all the time, I mean, I was notorious for this. In fact, I had a little sticky note to prevent myself um, from doing what I'm gonna show you here. Uh, we have a 32.17 square roof. Um, down under the sheathing, I would also enter 32.17. But it, look at our unit. That would only give me 32 square feet, not 32.17 squares like I wanted. It was to resheathe the whole roof. So that would be the correct quantity for this unit of measure. So it's not an SQ there like it is on our shingles or on our high and steep charges. They have the unit SQ. Here the unit was SF. And so it's a drastic difference. Uh, so instead of asking for $7,600, I was only asking for $75. And yes, I have submitted an estimate like that because I didn't double check myself. So get to know your units. You usually want to use what it defaults to, which is fine, but be sure to adjust your quantities as such or else you're going to leave a lot of money on the table. Like uh, I almost did. And the, how it turned out is the adjuster was super nice. And he was like, hey, do you understand that you only have 32 square feet? And I was like, ah, sorry, will you change that for me? It, was, it all worked out just fine. But still, I should have known better if I knew to look at my unit. So anyhow, hope that's helpful to you. My name is Alina Wilson with Eximate Mastery. For more information on our training and what we do, you can go to our website at eximatemastery.com. And I'm going to be putting out a new video every single week. So be sure to subscribe down below. And of course, comment with any questions you have or if you have a fun story when you messed up your unit of measure like I did. Um, be sure to post that too and I'll reply. So we'll see you next week on Tuesday.